All right, Helldivers, the Illuminate are coming. It's freaking confirmed. This is the end game and we are in it. Also, also, Sony have it out for my channel. The CM, you know which one, was absolutely unhelpful in the situation. And I have some thoughts on the CEO change of Arrowhead Studios. And the game is also dying. I'm going to touch on that in a little bit, but I'm probably gonna end up making a full on scripted video about it. And finally, we are going to complete the giveaway that we started when we hit 1,500 subscribers. Thank you guys very much. This is going to be your final chance to enter. But before we get into that, make sure you hit the like and subscribe to my channel for even more Helldivers 2 content. And now let's go. Go. So first things first, we have a new major order, the Operation Enduring Peace Phase 2, which is the final phase. And basically what we are doing is going to Meridia and deploying the Dark Fluid Weapon. If you have been subscribed to my channel for a while, you know what's going to happen next, but if you haven't, I'm going to shed some light on it because, well... Right now, the videos in which I go into detail are kind of unlisted, and I'm definitely going to talk about that in this video, but for now, let's just explain the situation. So, very recently, we saw that a research facility on Moradesh was looking into a dark fluid weapon, and, well, a black hole kind of, you know, happened to get to Moradesh. Somehow, it's... You know, it's actually not connected to the dark fluid weapon at all, guys. So some researchers died and it was a tragic death, they will be remembered as heroes. But what does this mean for the game? Right now we are on Meridia and we've started deploying the dark fluid on the planet itself with the purpose of basically blowing the heck out of it. I had previously shared information about this and even the cutscene itself that came out a couple of days ago, I had shared with you guys weeks ago. So by this time you should already know I speak like three languages, my local language, English and straight up facts. So after we complete this major order and hopefully win it, a black hole will engulf Meridia taking the planet down with itself. Which as you probably could suspect or you probably know if you've been a subscriber to me for a while means that we are getting the Illuminate since the Illuminate will come from the black hole after this whole thing gets resolved. So make sure you hit up Meridia and start deploying the dark fluid weapon. Which brings me to the next thing, there is actually a new mission type on Meridia which is, well, as you might have guessed, deploying the dark fluid. It's a fun, sort of King of the Hill inspired type of mission where you're supposed to deploy a couple of drills and then load them up with dark fluid. While the drills are being initialized, you are supposed to do like people do in Florida and stand your ground. So bringing turrets will be super helpful to your team and actually in the mission that we played, somebody brought up the exosuit and it turned out to be really freaking good. Which, if I have to be honest with you, is a sentence I never thought I would say ever in my YouTube channel, or, well, you know, at least until some balance changes come through. Something else I never thought I would get to say on my YouTube channel is that we actually started getting strategic dispatches in our dispatches tab. Now, they're written in this LARPy language, which sometimes doesn't make it clear that, for example, if you take X planet, it's going to boost the liberation percentages, but at the end of the day, it's very helpful, and it pretty much tells you, okay, go there and do this. Now, it's not something that's visible on the map, so I am 150,000% sure a lot of people have missed it, but it's a good start. At the end of the day, it shows and proves that Arrowhead, even though they're making very bad balancing decisions, at least they are actually listening. However, will it be enough? I am not sure, because if you look at the Helldivers 2 player count, it's pretty abysmal. And look, it's not that bad. If you compare with a lot of other games, it can actually go up to around 100k in the nighttime for the Europe times, which is, you know, when the US players are most active. But at the end of the day, we had times where there was over 400,000 players on Steam alone, and the game had kept 200 plus thousand players on Steam only not accounting for the PlayStation people. So with all of that into consideration, it's a very, very steep decline and a lot of people try to, you know, come guzzle Arrowhead and be like, uh, this was expected, it was a very expected drop and I kind of have to disagree if you think that it's natural for a game to stabilize from 400k to 100k and actually it's not even a fair comparison, it's more of a fair comparison to just go by Steam numbers and if you think it's fair to compare 400 plus thousand people to 30 to 50 thousand people, it, it, I don't know what to tell you, you're 
I don't wanna offend you, but yeah, you kinda got your math wrong. Your math ain't mathing, bro. I mean, maybe if the game was already out for a year, yeah, possibly you would be liable to see such a decline. But it would be very gradual. And this time it was not. This time it just went down severely. And the biggest question, of course, is well, who's to blame? And I actually blame both Arrowhead Studios and Sony. And let me tell you why. Even though we can see a very sharp decline from the game's release date up until now, the Sony PSN linking shenanigans were absolutely awful for the game. It just created so much bad faith with the community and honestly it's very rightfully so. With everybody being pissed off, the game got a ton of negative reviews on Steam, again very rightfully so. However, a lot of people changed back after Sony said yeah we're going to not want PSN linking. However, a lot of countries are still delisted. From what I can see, 177 countries still cannot buy new copies of Helldivers 2. And I don't know about you, but I think that's a heck of a ton of countries. It's actually so many places that cannot get any new Helldivers that I had to zoom out on my browser just to make this screenshot that's barely legible. And this is pretty much Sony shooting themselves in the foot because at the end of the day this means that while yes people who have previously purchased the game can play it in those countries, no new people can do it. So they're killing a big part of their markets. It's absolutely expected for a lot of people to drop off after the initial hype for a game dies down, but if you could get new players from all over the world, that would mean we would get a ton of new blood and we would have a replacement rate, which right now is absolutely zero. And of course that can be seen by the numbers. You can see in March there was a 4% drop, then in April there was a 21.6% drop and then in the last 30 days there was a 62.1% drop in player base. Hey yo, what the f Bear in mind that for each starting date of where you start to count a new percentage drop off, you start counting from the lower number that you've had. So basically the stats are not looking good fam. Not only this, but Sony have allegedly started to content strike channels which post leaks and I was, well, I was actually a victim of this. And before I get into the story, I was about to forget but I'm not gonna. Make sure you're subscribed to my channel and if you are, post a yellow heart under this video which will enter you in my giveaway for these two really cool Helldivers 2 themed coasters. Now back to the topic at hand, as you can see I haven't uploaded in quite a while but... Actually that's not true, I did upload two weeks ago and it got me a content strike. It was a... I'm not even gonna say the word anymore, it was an L word video about some upcoming grenades which were data mined in the game, which uh, I don't know, it completely falls under fair use, at least as far as I understand fair use, because nothing was gotten illegally, the assets are already in the game, and just someone managed to get the assets and I managed to get the gameplay of said assets. So how is this not fair use? I don't know. I tried to fight the strike and that was rejected so I have contacted YouTube support about this and my issue has been escalated and I'm waiting for a response. But that's one of the reasons why I haven't uploaded in a while. The second reason is the response I got from Baskinator about it which to me was pretty pitiful. I posted about my situation in the Helldivers 2 Discord and Baskinator contacted me about it and we got to this point where she goes, ah, was the video about leaked content and I say yeah but a bunch of channels with hundreds of thousands of subs post the same content and she responds with yeah and Sony is sweeping through them one by one. Yeah, Sony is sweeping through them one by one. I asked, well, an official statement wouldn't be bad then. And she goes, yeah, can't post leak content without accepting the risk. That's why we have a rule about it in the Discord too. Which, why does the Discord rule matter about what can and cannot be uploaded to YouTube? I have no idea and it makes zero sense. 
Then I asked her, why can people with hundreds of thousands of subscribers post leaks? And she goes, I'm not the one doing the takedown, so I don't know. This is a Sony Lego thing, which again, Sony are messing up the game because the leak content actually makes hype for the game and gets people hyped up. It was the most viewed content on my channel getting me monetized and I'm super thankful for it but right now there's a bunch of videos I have unlisted from my channel just so I don't get a second content strike. And this kind of makes my upload schedule really messed up because one, I have no idea why the video was taken down since it's absolutely under fair use and Baskinator saying yeah there's a rule about it in the discord is completely irrelevant. And second, this kind of kills your desire to make videos about a game a little bit. Sony need to get their shit together because at the end of the day, they're going to end up killing the game with these weird ass business practices. And second, of course, I'm blaming Arrowhead Studios for the game dying because, well, let's face it and let's be honest, the balancing quote unquote team is doing a piss poor job at balancing the game because at the end of the day, this is not the game that the people who bought it at release, started playing and fell in love with. Nerfing solo players, nerfing various very fun weapons instead of bringing the ones that are not fun up and a lot of other weird decisions are the reason for the player base dropping off so sharply. And this is also the reason why the previous CEO stepped down from his position in order to become the new chief creative officer so he can have a better overview of the creative decisions for this game. And I'm going to touch on this in a separate video because this one is getting to be way longer than expected and I don't want to hold you. So what does this mean for the future of my channel? Most likely I will still keep doing some news content about the game but it's definitely not going to be 3 to 4 or 5 videos per week because well now that I cannot get the draw that a lot of people visited my channel for before, I have to start making some more creative content that will take longer to make. And at the end of the day, I never wanted this channel to be a single game focused type of channel, I want it to be a variety channel and that's why I'm going to also start playing some other games. For example, Destiny 2's final expansion is coming out and as you can see if you go into my videos. I've actually uploaded quite a bit of Destiny build videos, so I'm most likely going to get back to that because right now Destiny 2 is looking kind of fire, I'm not gonna lie. Also in the month of September, a Warhammer 40k Space Marine 2 game is coming out which will have a 3 person PvE mode, it will have PvP, it will have customization, allegedly it won't have any microtransactions and it just looks so freaking good that we gotta feature it on this channel. So if you have been enjoying my content, yeah, make sure you subscribe to my channel, make sure you like my videos and just remember I actually really appreciate this you guys and I cannot wait to bring you more variety with my content. So with that said, make sure you hit the like and subscribe to my channel for even more Helldivers 2 content. And I'll see you in the next one.